So, Anissa and Gib and Slim have been going back and forth at each other for 3 years now and they still haven't fought. So today we're gonna compare the two fighters by looking at their recent matches to make a calculated decision on who would win. But just looking at their resumes, Gib did have harder opponents than Slim and now also including Jarvis in there but because Slim recently beat Saul Poppy on the prime card, he definitely proved a lot of people wrong which makes this fight even closer. So Gib's most recent fight was against Jarvis which was around 4 months ago and as you can see in the beginning Gib was struggling a bit as Jarvis was landing some big punches making him back up and this isn't the first time where Gib started slowly. We've seen the same thing in the Austin McBroom fight where he got knocked down in the first minute. Now if we compare that to how Slim starts his fights you can see how he likes to use the first round to feel out his opponents and take in knowledge but he's also not afraid to throw and trade punches which is shown here against Tom Zanetti. So just from those highlights alone you can see how Slim can definitely cause some havoc against Gib early as he is normally a slow starter where Slim is comfortable to throw big shots and trade with his opponents. Another aspect Slim can definitely capitalize on is how Gib responds to feints. You can see in the Jarvis fight as soon as it started, Jarvis came in through a faint right hand which opened up Gibbs face with him trying to block it and this costed him as Jarvis landed a nice left hook followed up with a right hand. If Gibb is ever going to fight Slim this is something he needs to work on because Slim loves throwing feints early which we can see in the temper fight right here. He throws 5 feints making Temper react to set up one punch which was this nice right hand. But one area both fighters can exploit early is counter punching because neither Slim or Gib have their hands up after they punch. Whenever Gib throws he keyword mostly leaves his face wide open to counter punches as we can see here. In this entire exchange, Gibbs faces wide open for a counter punch which we've seen Slim do in multiple fights such as the Salt Poppy one. Slim was getting swarmed by Saw just like Gib was doing to Jarvis but he covered up and threw this amazing right hand to knock him down. And another example is in the Ryan Taylor fight where he hit this nice counter punch to drop him as well. Now for Slim, whenever he throws he keyword always leaves his face wide open for counter punches. Like literally every single time. I tried to find a clip of him covering up after he threw and I just couldn't. It took me like 6 hours. An example of this can be seen in the Tom Zanetti fight. You can see here Slim throws a right but doesn't have his other hand guarding his face so Tom tries to throw a counter left hook but barely misses the shot. And this isn't a one time thing. Literally 15 seconds later Slim swings wildly 2 times giving flashbacks of KSI fighting Logan Paul but both times he throws. He has no defense so these can be easy opportunities for Gib to excel. But another flaw Slim has not only in the early rounds the entire fight is how he ducks his head way down like he's trying to suck his opponent's dick. You can see multiple times Slim just randomly ducking his head way down and then following up with some punches and I'm guessing he does this to avoid getting hit but all it takes is one good uppercut and this man may go to sleep faster than Nate Robinson. So the key takeaways from the early rounds is that Gib likes to start slow where Slim isn't afraid to throw big shots, Gib reacts to flinches which Slim likes to do before throwing, both are available to counter punches and Slim likes to duck his head way down but one uppercut and this man might see juice world. Now let's look at the later rounds of their fights and if you're familiar with these two fighters, it's pretty obvious who's gonna do better. So if we look at Slim in the later rounds, you can see his punches become 99% weaker, his technique runs out the window and he gets so exhausted that he can't even put his hands up to guard his face. And keep in mind, normally big YouTube boxing fights are 6 or 8 rounds. This is only round 3 and you can just tell how tired Slim is, like his only defense right here was his chin. It's like he's getting trained by Fusi. But if we look at how Gib fights in round 3, it looks like he's just getting started. I mean constant pressure, giving Jarvis no time to breathe, going in and landing a few punches, going out and repeating this process over and over again until the fight ends. You can also see how Gib loses no technique as the rounds go on. The footwork is still there, the defense is still there and the volume of punches is still there. It just looks like he can go on forever. I mean. This is round 5 of his fight against Jarvis and if you just cover the bottom timer up you would probably guess just by looking at Gib that this is round 1 with how much energy he has. So the last thing I want to talk about is how Gib and Slim normally end their fights when they win. 
and I didn't have to say when they win if Gibb just beat Jake Paul. Like, that's the only L on his and Slim's record. Out of the seven fights Slim has had, five of them didn't hear the final bell, and five of them also had at least one knockdown. So Slim is a power puncher. He normally ends his fights by TKO or KO, which is actually really good for him because of how bad his stamina is. Now, if we look at Gibb's fights, out of the six fights he's won, three of them didn't hear the final bell, but this also includes the second Austin McBroom fight, which was ended early because he apparently got injured but let's be real this man didn't get injured he just faked an entry to get out the fight but you could tell that Gibb usually wins his fights by going on points after absolutely destroying his opponents for the entire duration of the fight, putting crazy pressure on them. So at the end of the day, if Slim and Gibb were to fight, I think the only chance Slim has at beating Gibb is if he can put him out early, which is definitely a possibility. As I said, Gibb likes to start slow, and we've seen him get caught in previous fights because of it, like the Austin McBroom and Jake Paul one, so Slim definitely has a chance to do the same, but if he doesn't... I think it's game over for him. I think Gibb has the best stamina in all of influencer boxing and after that Tom Zanetti fight, Slim may have one of the worst but we also can't forget that Gibb likes to turn it up after the rounds go by which will cause even more problems for Slim. But we also have to keep in mind that the Slim vs Tom Zanetti fight was around 8 months ago so Slim's stamina has definitely improved since then and also if he was to get a fight against Gibb, he probably knows his biggest disadvantage is his stamina, so he will focus on that a lot more. Overall, I think Slim's only shot at beating Gibb is if he gets him out early, which I don't see happening because Gibb has improved his defense a ton after every fight he's had. And also, Gibb has already experienced that first round loss to Jake Paul, and he knows what that feels like, and he's probably made sure that never happens again, so overall, I think I would have to pick Gibb on points, or maybe even TKO, since his stamina may be too much to deal with. But let me know down below who you think would win if these two were to ever fight and make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss future videos